Previously, I did a video on what to expect on the inspection report so you can take care of some of these repairs beforehand. Today, I'm gonna to talk about some simple things to do the day before the inspector gets there to help avoid some of the unnecessary things from popping up on the report. If you're looking for larger scale repairs to take care of before we even get to the inspector, check out my link below and watch the inspection objection video and then come back to this one. And if you enjoy these videos, if you're finding them helpful, don't forget to hit subscribe. Also hit the little bell right next to it so you get instant notifications as soon as a new video is posted. All right, here we go. Okay, the first one, make sure the inspector has easy access to all of your rooms, to the electrical sockets, to the washer and dryer, anything around the house, make sure it's not blocked off. The inspector can't move things. So if they can't have access to something, then it's gonna get marked on the report that further evaluation is suggested. And you never want that because you're gonna wind up finding yourself being requested to hire a professional to come out and make sure it works. Hopefully you've decluttered by now so you don't have to worry about this issue. But I know oftentimes when we're moving, we have stacks of boxes sitting around. Just make sure it's not blocking anything. Okay, this next one is a very common one. Make sure all light bulbs are working. If you have a burned out light bulb somewhere, it's simple enough to get a light bulb and change it out. If you don't, again, it's gonna be marked as further evaluation because an inspector is not gonna go up there and change the bulb to make sure it works. So a buyer is gonna wind up asking you to hire an electrician to come out and prove that there is no electrical issue there. Most of us have pets. I have two dogs myself. Make sure you don't have kennels blocking anything. Make sure there are no litter boxes blocking anything. Take your dogs for a walk. Make sure they're not in the house when the inspector gets there, take them for a walk. Put them in the kennel. Just make sure the kennel is somewhere. It's not blocking anything. Okay, the next one is make sure your pilot light is lit. The inspector is not gonna light it. And if it's not lit, it's gonna be another marked for a future evaluation suggested and you're gonna hire somebody to come out and make sure it works or you're gonna get lowballed on your offer in the expectation that they're gonna to have to fix it. So go ahead and have it lit. It, you're probably gonna notice if your pilot light for your water heater isn't lit, so that's probably not an issue. However, one that is forgotten about is for their gas fireplace. This is often shut off during the summer months. So as we're entering the fall right now, make sure that is lit for the inspection. This one isn't as common, but if you have something in your house that takes special instructions, make sure you leave those instructions for the inspector so they know how to test it. Everything should be turned on already. They shouldn't have to turn anything on, but if there are special instructions on how to run the dishwasher, for instance, make sure that you leave those instructions to avoid that further evaluation suggested showing up on your inspection report. This is the biggest one and the biggest money saver that's gonna be in this video, which probably should have been in the last one, so I'm gonna put it here. Make sure your electrical panel is labeled. It's easy enough to do, grab a, a spouse, a neighbor, uh, grab somebody, help you label everything in that electrical panel. It'll save you a lot of money. If it's not labeled, you're probably gonna see it on the request from the buyers for you to hire somebody. And then you're hiring two electricians to get this done. So it's super simple for you to do and I highly suggest that you get this done before the inspector gets there. One final tip guys, be honest. Don't try to hide anything. The inspector is gonna be at your house for probably at least three hours. It's gonna be a very detailed search for everything big and small. If it's obvious you were trying to hide something, the inspector is gonna wonder what else you're hiding and they're really gonna dig deep looking for other things. So just be honest about everything. That's it guys. You should be prepped and ready to go for the inspector. If you watched the previous inspection video, which the link is below, and you did this one as well, this is gonna be an easy breezy inspection. Now one question that I always get from the seller is, should I be there for the inspection? And no, stay out of his way. He's gonna be there a while, so go for a hike, go to the office, go to the bar, but you don't need to be there. If you did everything in this video and the last one, then this should be a very easy, stress-free step in this process. If you have any questions at all, comment below, reach out to me anytime. I'm happy to answer any questions and I will see you next week.